the classic horror conventions of stereotypes. We have used teenagers who break into an abandoned house and get possessed. The house we used was also similar to the woman in black, creating a spooky house. Another way we conformed to horror conventions was by having a red Demons Within title. This gives negative connotations of blood and death. Our title is also similar to Insidious, giving the same response from the audience. We use spooky, tension-building music, which was diegetic. This conforms to horror conventions. Media text developed conventions through our narrative because although we had a linear storyline, we developed it by breaking it up with an alternative storyline shown through photographs. In our opening title sequence, we challenged conventions in our casting. We had a male innocent and male survivors. This is unusual because usually we see a female innocent, like in Cabin in the Woods. What's that? Give me the camera. Also, our opening title sequence conforms to the style of editing we use. By this, we mean the camcorder effect, like in the Blair Witch Project. Also, we use the classic flashing transitions with like the fast paced editing. We also challenge conventions because our innocent isn't often shown in our footage. We mainly edited it to be from his point of view until the possession when the camera is taken by our killer. No, we should yeah. leave. Yeah. This isn't a joke anymore. We didn't break in here for nothing. We finally... Our opening title sequence conforms with the classic horror narrative of possession. For example, the last no, exodus. This is too far. What's the worst that could happen? We have used the idea of using a Ouija board from the 2014 film Ouija. This inspired us to create our opening title sequence. This conforms horror conventions of possession. Also, we conform to the general horror convention of character representation by having our female character getting possessed. This happens in films such as Possession and The Last Exorcist. Our media text conforms to the general stereotypes of horror character representation. The first example of this is Kira's death. She's represented as a pretty young girl with lots of makeup and a short skirt. In general horror conventions, the young female dies first. Examples of this are films such as Scream.